All right, a lesson on inscribed quadrilaterals. What happens when we have a four-sided polygon with vertices on the circle? All right, that is the definition of the word inscribed. It means that a polygon is inside a circle. In the previous video, we saw a few examples of triangles or quadrilaterals that are circumscribed around a circle. But here we have inscribed, in meaning inside, of course. So, first things first, we have to understand that this quadrilateral is not necessarily a parallelogram. But it is a quadrilateral, which means that the interior angles add up to 360. That's going to be a way that we can check some of our answers later on. It also has this really cool theorem right here, this cool idea that whatever angle A is, the opposite angle, C, is its supplement. These two add up to 180. That's true every single time. Opposite angle pairs add to 180. It's of course true in this direction as well. Angle D and angle B. These are supplements as well. So let's do a few examples. Number one. In number one, we have angle A is 81 degrees. I put it into my picture. Angle D is 95 degrees. Question is very simple. Ask, it's asking what's the measure of angle B and the measure of angle C. All right, so let's start with angle B. We see that angle B is across from angle D. These are opposite angles. Be careful, they're not always congruent. In fact, rarely they're going to be congruent. But the rule is that we use our little idea that they're supplementary. So 180 minus 95 is what angle B is equal to. That should be 85 degrees. Same thing for angle C. Angle C is 180 minus angle A. Those are opposites and therefore they are supplements. So it's 180 minus 81 or 99 degrees. All right. And a good way to check that, of course, is to make sure it's not such a big deal in a simple example like this, but later on it will be a little bit more, a little bit more important. Make sure that all of them add up to 360. And if you check that on your own, you'll find that it works. Number two. <clears throat> Number two, we have angle Q is 71 degrees. Put it right there. Angle S is an algebraic expression, 7x plus 4. Angle R is 2y minus 2, and angle T is 68. So we have four things to find. We need to find x, y, angle S, and angle R. And to do that, we're simply going to uh, use the idea that opposite angles inside, inside inscribed quadrilaterals, opposite angles are supplementary. So these two, angle Q and angle S, add up to 180. So I'll write that equation down here. 71 plus 7x plus 4 equals 180. 7x plus 75 equals 180. 7x equals uh, 105. <clears throat> and 105 divided by 7, of course, is going to be, uh, I think, 15. What's 15 times 7? It's 70 plus 35. Yeah, so x is 15. If x is 15, we're just going to simply plug it back in there to get the value, the actual measure of angle S. So we're going to put 15 in for X and see what we get. We have 7 times 15, we already said that's 105, plus another 4. 105 plus 4 is 109 degrees. And that makes sense, right, because it needs to be supplementary to 71. Well, 71 plus 109 is, of course, 180, so that's a good thing. All right, the other way, we have angle R and angle T. Angle R and angle T, the rule is that they are, since they're opposites and they're in an inscribed quadrilateral, they are supplementary. So we're going to 
solve this equation. Right, maybe I'll take it over here. 68 plus 2y minus 2 equals 180. Uh, let's add the 68 and the negative 2 together to get 66. Subtract 66 from both sides. I get 114. And that's going to be 57. We'll divide by 2 to get 57. All right, so we're going to take that y value and we're going to, again, plug it back in right here. 2 times 57 is 114 minus 2. 114 minus 2 is 112. 112 plus 68 is equal to 180, so that works out nicely. Moving on, we are number 3. Number 3. All right, a lot of algebra going on here. Let's put 2x plus 9 right here, uh, 7w right here, 4x minus 3 right here, and 2w plus 9 right here. Start with the w's, I guess. Add those together. Set them equal to 180. So we have 7w plus 2w plus 9 equals 180. That's 9w plus 9 equals 180. 9w equals 171. I subtracted there. So that's 90 plus 80. 81. That's 90. That's 19. w is 19. If w is 19, we could find the actual measure of angle F and angle H very quickly because they both have w's in their expressions. So angle F is what is 7 times 19. 7 times W. So 7 times 19. Let's see, that's 70 plus 63. It's 133. And angle H is 2 times, I'll put that right in there, 19. 2 times 19 is 38. Plus 9 is 47. And that's angle H. And these two check out. They both add up to 180. I can do that really quickly. That makes sense to me because that, that tells me that 19 is an actual correct answer. Right, let's go back and find the value of x. So let me get rid of this green thing. I'll go inside and I'll say, all right, these two now are supplements. So I have 2x plus 9 plus 4x minus 3 equals 180. Again, very common mistake would be to set them equal to each other. That's not true. 6x, I'll combine like terms. I'll combine constants. I'll subtract 6 from both sides. And I'll divide. I know that, let's see, 20 will give me, 20 times 6 is, is uh, 120. So that's another 54. That's 120. It's 29, I think. Let's see if that works. I'm doing this in my head, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to check to make sure it works. So if x is 29, 2 times 29 is, 2 times 29 is 58. 58 plus 9 is 67. Angle E is 67. Alright, visually that looks like it makes sense. Let's check it over here. I'll put 29 right there. 4 times 29. Let's see, that's 80 plus another 36. Uh, it's 116 minus... 3 is 113. These two should add up to 180. And they do. Last one. This is number 4, I believe. Maybe number 5. I can't remember. Let's go check it out. It's number 4. Alright, so we have 15y. We have 36 plus y. We have... Angle H is 3x minus 3, and angle F is 10 times the quantity x plus 4. All right, so let's do these two first. These two green ones add up to 180. I'll do it over here. Uh, 3x minus 3 plus 10 times the quantity x plus 4 equals 180. We need to distribute this guy first. Take 10, distribute it into both terms. That gives me 10x plus 40 there. We're going to combine like terms, 13x. 
Combine constants, 37 equals 180. 13x equals, subtract 37 from both sides, 143. And that looks like an 11 to me. I did it in my head, so I'll check it to make sure that it works. Plug 11 back in here. So it's 10 times, in parentheses, 11 plus 4. That's 15 times 10. Angle F should be 150. Right here we have 11, 3 times 11 is 33, minus 3 is 30. That checks out, 150 plus 30 is of course 180. All right, so I'm trying to model for you that it's really important to check your work before you submit your final answer. <clears throat> uh, okay, do the other one. Let's go for the Y variables. Let's do 15Y plus 36 plus Y equals 180. That's 16y plus 36. 16y equals 144. And this one looks like it's a little bit more challenging for me. Uh, 9. Yeah, 9 looks pretty good. It's going to be 90 plus 54. So y is equal to 9. Plug that back in. 15 times 9. 15 times 9 is 135. 36 plus 9. 36 plus 9 is 45. And that makes sense to me because that adds up to 180. Alright, and I think that's it. That is lesson on inscribed quadrilaterals.